One, two, three, go. Hello everybody, I hope that uh, everything goes well in your side. So today our lesson is about wind turbine model and MATLAB simulation. This is uh, the issue that uh, every uh, student uh, in school at university and also for the engineer uh, in this uh, field. So, um, so the how to model the turbine and then simulate it, simulate it in MATLAB software. So starting uh, to to define to defining the the component of the wind turbine. This is the blades, and then we have here a gearbox, and then this gearbox is uh, coupled into the generator. So here the generator. Here there here is blades. Here gearbox. Gearbox. Here we have the wind source. Wind. So starting to model the wind source. The wind source has a stochastic phenomena. For this reason, the wind speed can be modeled by the sum of sinusoidal, sinusoidal components by uh, different uh, frequency and initial phase, phases. So here we have um, uh, a mean wind speed. So mean wind speed and then the gearbox can be modeled by a gain so here we obtain uh, the speed of the turbine can be increased into uh, speed of the generator for this reason the, the speed of the generator is the speed of the turbine multiplied by the gain the gain of the gearbox and then the same thing about the torque the turbine torque the turbine torque can be also decreased into the torque of the generator so here we have torque of the generator sorry multiplied by the gain so, uh, yeah, the dynamical equation of this system, the coupling system between the turbine, the gearbox, and the generator can be done as follows. Uh, the, uh, the derivative of the speed of generator is the inertia. Yeah, this uh, equation is uh, now. We can find it in the literature, uh, the torque of the generator and the electromagnetic because there is an interaction between the mechanical system and the electromagnetical system of the generator. So here, uh, the, the coefficient of viscosity of the generator multiplied by the speed of the generator. So. So here, uh, our aim, or the aim of this video, is to give a scheme of the whole system wind turbine model in order to simulate it in MATLAB software. So returning in, in, in the formulation of the energy and the power of the turbine. So we know that the energy of the kinetic energy of the wind is given by this formulation the mass of the air multiplied by the speed squared and we're doing some transformation because the mass of the wind can deplace can do a deplacement 
a small displacement, but it can be captured just by the surface of the blades. This is the surface of the blades. Because uh, we, can, we can not use the other air mass on, on the air. We just use this air mass captured by, by the blade. So for this reason, the power can be obtained by the following equation. Here, the air mass multiplied by the surface and the speed squared. But it's obviously known that not all the, the energy contained in the wind can be transformed into the mechanical energy and then transformed into electrical energy because there are some characteristics, specific characteristics of the turbine for this reason every wind turbine has its uh, coefficient or um, efficient, uh, coefficient of efficiency so is defined as the coefficient of the power uh, it can be also found in every literature this is the relation between the power in the turbine and the power of the wind so and the, the same thing about the torque the torque of the turbine is the power of the turbine divided by the speed of the turbine so uh, we will talk about the CP the CP is the specific uh, characteristic of the wind turbine so it, uh, it, is, it depends on the B the B the angle of the orientation of the blades and lambda what is lambda? Lambda is the coefficient or the ratio between the linear speeds. So the linear speeds, not the angle speed. So the relation is the angle speed multiplied by r. R, what is r? R is the length of the blade. This is R. The radius, it can be also called the radius divided by the wind speed. So we will summarize all these equations in uh, a brief scheme. So, so using the previous formulation, we can obtain this scheme. So here is the wind turbine model and here because there are the gain or the coefficient of the gearbox here is the gear box and then there are the interaction between the generator with the electromagnetic torque and the differential equation have to be transformed into Laplace transform. So here we have the generator shift generator shift model. The, input, the inputs are the blade, the angle of the orientation of the, the blades and the wind speed and as output we have the speed of the generator and then as a perturbation or a control system is the electromagnetic torque it can be uh, an objective or subject for the future works how to control the wind turbine by the electromagnetic torque of the generator. So, here we have to pass into our simulation into MATLAB. 
Uh, here the model is is done into MATLAB simulation. So this is the model of the wind turbine, as I said. So this is an equation in Laplace transform can be found here. Yeah, this is transfer function. Yeah, we can change the parameter of transfer function as the energy and the coefficient of viscosity. And all these components can be found also in in uh, the toolbox of MATLAB. Yeah, as input, as I said, is the wind speed and the angle. The wind speed. So here I, I uh, imposed it as constant and also about the angle. Uh, the, the CP function can be obtained or um, you can find it in, in every literature. This is uh, a nonlinear equation. So here yeah, the rest of the parameters of the wind turbine also can be found in uh, some thesis or publication and we can enter them into M function and to program it. Yeah, as example, I done uh, the parameter of S, the surface uh, of the blades is the R the length multiplied by and then so the gearbox and G the inertia and D the viscosity parameter, the beta the angle. Rho is the air mass, is a constant, and the now, so running the simulation. So here I have not done the control of the electromagnetic torque. For this reason we will obtain uh, results, not uh, so well results, because of the control. Here we can change speeds 12 and then we will obtain another result and the same thing if we change the angle of the orientation. Okay, goodbye everybody.